A grim discovery made at a public park in West Houston, a body found in the back of a pickup truck. That investigation happening today at Cullen Park off of Psalms Road in Barker Cypress. KPRC 2's Rochelle Turner there now with the very latest. And Rochelle, investigators say that body may have been there for several days. Sian, that's right. It was parked right here in this spot behind me and workers discovered that body wrapped up. Now we've learned that the license plate number on the truck matches a missing persons report that we've been telling you about all week. Now I did speak to the family. They were not ready to talk to us on camera, but they have a lot of questions surrounding this case. Around 10 o'clock Sunday morning, homicide detectives were called to Cullen Park in West Houston. Park personnel, Parks and Rec rangers found a uh, vehicle that hadn't moved in a few days. And uh, upon their investigation to see what was going on with the vehicle, uh, they located a deceased uh, person inside. Detectives say the person was wrapped in the bed of this black pickup. While investigators have not identified the person, the license plate number on the truck matches a missing persons report we first told you about. 63-year-old Floyd Mann Hayes has been missing for over a week. We spoke to Hayes' stepdaughter, Ashley Perkins, on Tuesday. He's very honorable. He, he's always there. He, he takes care of his family. After Hayes left this medical facility in Katy, his black Suzuki Equator with plate KTC 9326 was last seen at Walgreens on Mason near I-10 that Saturday. It's the same truck workers discovered at Cullen Park. He didn't come home Sunday morning. He was supposed to come home Saturday night. The family says they alerted Katy Police and the Harris County Sheriff's Office. The body was taken to the medical examiner's office and the investigation is still ongoing. The uh, deceased individual is covered, so we can't we can't identify, we can't determine any identifiers as far as race, ethnicity, uh, even gender. We're not entirely sure of, and uh, in, in, in that we can't we can't see or determine any kind of wounds or any factors surrounding the death. And at this hour, investigators have not identified the person they are waiting on autopsy to determine the manner and cause of death. Reporting in West Houston, I'm Rochelle Turner, KPRC 2 News. Certainly do hope that family gets the answers they're searching for. Rochelle, thank